This tutorial will help you with a situation in which you've been collecting data for network visualization, for example, but haven't been using a unique ID number. You can see here I have a list of individuals, but no ID column. I have a separate edge table which shows relationships between individuals, but I've been using the first name as the from and to that connects these individuals. This is bad data practice, and ideally we would have a unique ID number here so that we don't run into problems with the names being the same for two individuals. Although less of a problem if you combine it with the last name, it's still better to use unique ID numbers for the purpose. The first thing I'm going to do is sort the data. If I select the whole column here and click the sort button in the data tab, I can tell Excel that I'd like to sort by the person's name from A to Z. This will prevent us from running into problems when we do a lookup function in Excel. I'm now going to add a new column by right-clicking on the A column and clicking Insert. Let's call this ID. And if I just start typing a sequence of incremented numbers, Excel is smart enough to detect the pattern and be able to fill those numbers out for me. Switching back to edges, I could of course manually enter in the correct numbers here. But there is a way that we can do this in an automated fashion. Let's create two new empty columns here and call one of them ID from and ID to. Here I need to enter in an equation using the lookup function. So type equal and then lookup. The parameters that I need for the lookup function are what is the thing that I'm going to search the other sheet with in this case, the name of the person, comma. Then it needs to know what is the column in which I will find that thing that I'm looking for, in this case, the B column, comma. And what is the thing that I want to bring back into the table having found it? It is whatever exists in the A column. If I then press parentheses to close it and press enter you can see here that the ID from is label 1 and we can confirm that that's correct by switching back to the node table and you'll see that Chongsu is indeed 1. We can now reproduce that equation by just stretching this down the entire height and we'll see that in each place where Chongsu appears, there is a 1. And in each place where Fumiko is located, we should find a 2. Fumiko, Fumiko, and Fumiko. Now let's do the same process for the next column. Equal lookup. I'm going to search for this name, comma. I'm going to search for it again in the B column, comma, and I want to take the ID from the A column. And 15 should correspond to Minje, 15 Minje. If I now then take and pull this down, I now get all of these numbers, and that looks right. Now I can, if I want to, delete these columns, or rather when I bring in my edge table into social network analysis software, I can just indicate um, that I want to use the ID from and the ID to columns. And then just keep the from and to as a kind of a, for readability when you're, when you're looking at the table itself.